We'll go to Mike first. Mike, security, you'd agree, unprecedented. We were driving along last night in our news car and stopped and searched. There's police checkpoints everywhere you turn. Yeah, and it's only going to get tighter, Mel. We're ac actually just along the fence yeah. of uh, Ground Zero, just where the South Tower would have been. Uh, of course, the first tower, second tower struck the first to fall. And we're outside a memorial, one of the firehouses here, where they lost six firefighters. 343 in total were lost that day. And in fact, they had a memorial for the firefighters today. I'll just spin you around to show you. They've blocked off all the streets around here, around Ground Zero, in preparation for tomorrow. And we're told it's going to get even tighter. In fact, you can see your building up the top there. That's where um, Mel is. Right up the top there, um, TV crews from all around the world at every vantage point around Ground Zero. And you can see people aren't scared of coming out despite that, uh, that threat of uh, terrorism. Uh, people I've spoken to today have just said, look, we're not going to be scared off by this. This city is a, a pretty resilient city as we've seen. So they're coming here in numbers and you can imagine, Mel, those numbers are just going to be huge tomorrow.